Sveden in charge here at Princess Park. Fitzroy 11th on the ladder, the Bears 12th. They've won one more game. Fitzroy then have the Bears, and it's a big thump that gets it up forward. Chance for Osborne. Wrong side. But uh, that all came from a huge knockout in the middle. And the first score on the board to Fitzroy. Yes, Paul McLean uh, playing his first game in the ruck uh, was an enormous thump. He's opened uh, on the ball and Rendell at full forward. Look at that kick in by Jeffrey Range for the Bears. It almost got to the middle. Ooh, crikey. A uh, bit of rough stuff going out there. Number 44 for the Bears. Darren Carlson ran into some bother but was dispossessed very quickly. Fitzroy kicking this way. And again, McLean gets a tap. That's Walsh getting a shove. And Philip Walsh from half back for the Bears. Now it's the end. Oh no, uh, it's a crosswind, which means it's a north and south wind here. Handball's okay. It comes uh, down there as the Bears. Uh, McPherson. Uh, McPherson. Yeah. <laughs> right, no. McPherson. Away they go. Another Tasmanian Gale took the mark. He's bundled it forward. He's got some assistance. Thornton. Now a chance for Laurie. Off it goes to Conlon from directly in front. Mick Conlon brings up the first goal of the afternoon. Fitzroy, seven points, the Bears yet to score. They certainly had a very checkered year this year, Mick Conlon, watching a scrambly passage of play, but a good handball. Con Conlon breaking clear on his left foot, 50 metres out, threaded it through for their first goal. Interesting note, uh, Reigns picking up Barwick in the forward pocket, and McCarthy picking up Randall at full forward. And we wonder if uh, Conlon uh, and Barwick, Barwick's had more games than Conlon, this season can combine and kick a bag today. Conlon got five last week. McLean doing well on that centre bounce for the Lions. They're into attack again. Barwick there together with Ruse. Chipping in is Harris. And a high tackle on Harris. He'll take the kick from 30 metres out. It's actually oh, the sorry, new boy, I'm oh, sorry, Carafa. <laughs> yes, yeah. Anthony Carafa. His first game. First and kick, does it be? Yes. So, so uh, you were half right. It was 13 Harris for the Bears. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> his first kick in senior company raises one behind. Yes, the Bears lining up with uh, Richardson and Phillips uh, opening up on the bench. Rains doing the kicking in. Oh, three to one here in favour of Fitzroy. McLean almost had it. Up to half four they go. Oh, met very heavily. It's a free kick. It'll go the way of Walsh. But uh, Rains a bit lucky there. Didn't really pick the right option for the kick in. But the Bears finally get over the centre for the first time this afternoon. Williams from behind. McIver, the Queenslander, feeds it off. Shot forward by Armstrong, on to Rendell. Rendell can line them up, goes the pass to Barwick, a beauty. Good diving grab from Doug Barwick. And if he can get this one through, his confidence up early, could be in for a good afternoon. Really runs on it. The bullocking Doug Barwick. Shooting from 35 metres, about a 50 degree angle. Fitzroy doing all the attacking. And all the scoring, but uh, only one major out of four shots on goal. Yes, Michael McCarthy was a little unlucky then. He created a, a loose man, but uh, he was found 80 metres away from Rendell, who just set, set the short pass up for Bowie. Now it's this time it's Hardy to kick in for the Bears. It's a long one. Out to Williams. Oh, good tap on there. Thomas, a this for the Lions. Handball by Nick. Logan. Harris. Here's a kick right into the goal square. Can Barwick take this one? No, it's McCarthy. Well judged, well poised back, right in the teeth of goal. Comes out to the inner side. But, whoop, good battle on here. It's Catwell has the front position, and Osborne does some fine shepherding there. Oh, a good pick up by the Bears, uh, Carlson. Doesn't uh, go anywhere, though, uh, and quickly whipped out of bounds on the inner wing. Well, what crowd... Now here, I don't need to tell you who they're barracking for. Just forward of the centre are the Roys. Micken tries to get it down, but it's all Lions down there. Now some desperation from the Bears. 
Oh, Reynoldson playing his 100th game. Thumps it straight into the man on the mark. Micken now, the skipper, gets the ball across. Bernie Harris couldn't get it away against his old side. Grant Laurie. Not showing him any uh, mercy. So the bounce again just forward of the centre for the Roys. No attack yet from the Brisbane Bears. And again McLean the tap but it goes straight to Walsh. A poor kick off the side of the boot. They've lost another opportunity to get it forward. Gale, nowhere to go. And the throw right on the centre wing and he's got a free kick for a push in the back. So it's Michael Gale in front of uh, the new grandstand. Partly completed. And those seagulls behind remind us that one uh, was uh, killed in that same spot last week. Let's hope we don't have that again. Williams is caught by McIver. Pretty scrambly old match. Certainly is. Not too many highlights at the moment. This good one. Conlon waiting for the football to come out. Not an opponent anywhere near him. He's running to the outer wing. Gets a lead from Ruse. Ruse's first kick. What he's going to do there. Up to Rindle, the tallest player there. Knocked away by uh, McCarthy. Picked up by Range for the, the Bears. Out to the wing. Ruse is marked again. Two Lions standing a short metre away. Thornton's marked 35 metres out. The Bears haven't scored. The Lions have got nine points up, and he's kicking dead into the wind. It'll be a tricky shot, this one. The tricky shot is a great shot. And the Lions have got all the score on the board. Yes, it was a very accurate uh, shot, Jeff, from the uh, forward pocket, but the Bears' defence is woeful at the moment. They're kicking wildly out of defence. Short pass there, Ruse to Thornton. But since the new stands have been built uh, at Princess Park, it's a sheltered area in that area. Micken wins the tap. Chance for Walsh. Pushed down by Laurie. Pekin, beautiful handball to Laurie. High to the wing. In comes McIver. Couldn't hold it. Here's the new boy, Carafa. Did that nicely. Low to the ground. He spears it up to half forward. Reynoldson. Trying to get it back towards Campbell. Now it comes out to that player. Banfield. Bounce pass to Williams. Up to half forward. Chance now for the uh, Bears. Harris off to the shot at goal. It's there. John Finch. Finch it was. So perhaps amongst the construction workers there are some Bears supporters. And they trail by nine points. It's a wobbly kick by Mark Williams. Well taken by Bernie Harris. An accurate hand pass. Good running by John Finch. 40 metres out. Picked a very easy goal. It's very well needed at the five minute mark of the first quarter. And Nick and gets up and knocks it away. And Williams, a couple of old campaigners there, boots the football down. Here's Thornton again. He kicked a wizard goal a moment ago and shoots for the boundary line. Pekin's in there. I think. Uh, Walsh. A desperate lunge by Walsh. It's too late. The, uh, the football will be thrown in. Taking the afternoon off to enjoy the footy. The lads at the new stand. And they've adopted the Bears, I think, as Williams. Thumps down. Good play. Harris does that well. Great presence of mind. Chance for Withers. Another one. So they've had two sorties forward. And the Bears trail by three points. We're coming up to the uh, ten-minute mark here at Princess Park. And that was a fine shot from young Mark Withers. Well, two goals for the Bears uh, within two minutes. So they answered the Lions, who had 15 points up before the Bears got off. The so it's an interesting match, John. Yes, both goals kicked by ex-Melbourne players. Mark Withers playing his third game for the Bears. Centre bounce. Good... Uh, Solid out there. He can get it away. A line to attack. Conlon, oh, outpointed there by uh, by Campbell. It's much a good football for the Bears this year. And their make-up side. Out the range. Range looking after Barwick. Uh, Barwick playing in the forward pocket. Gee, Range can kick a football. And the man at the back should mark this. It's Hine. He had his hands to it, lost it. Lions come out of this, all right. Handball again. Pekin up to Rumbertrol, which is Conlon. A little buffeting there. 
seven the back. And Connor will take the free kick. Goes in the ruse direction. Osmond in front of him. A little bit of a collision. But both of them get up okay, and it's ended up all right for the Lions. Richard Osmond directly in front. Ruse is hurt. Oh, so he didn't get up okay. Uh, Just having a trainer look at him. There he's wandering into shot. Osmond goes away from dead in front. He's missed it. That is a very bad miss from Richard Osmond, their leading goal kicker this season. He's kicked two behinds today so far. They lead by four points, the Lions. Well, here's McCarthy uh, to kick in. It's a third man. And a shot. Kicked it straight to Rouge, who he's covered pretty well. Got a little sting in the thigh, I think. Maybe, uh, and across to Kong, who plays on. And he didn't know much about the win there. Oh, great. Look the young fellow. It's a play on the handball across to Big Matt Randell from Harris. It wasn't the young fellow, it was the old oh, fellow. <laughs> There's very quick thinking by Leon Harris and diving mark right on the line, but very poor defence by the Bears once again. They've been a chapter of errors. A pathetic kick out by McCarthy, who kicked Carew's 15 metres on his own. They've done that all day so far. As I said, every time they've taken out of defence, they've looked very fragile. They haven't brought out under control. So it's McLean to ruck against Micken, set a square infringement. Against who? It's against the Bears. Really, that is a cardinal sin. I don't know how anyone can fall for that as McLean passes to Harris, a beauty. Leon wheels away, passes for Osborne. That's too high. McCarthy charges out of defence. Goes in the Withers direction. Man in front hits heavily. Withers finally ends up with it. Reynoldson's got up all right. Judge, Judge to half forward. And the diving mark taken by Bernie Harris, former Roy. I used to call them uh, young Bernie and, and old Bernie when uh, Bernie Quinlan, <laughs> co-ABC commentator, played for Fitzroy. It's uh, young Bernie directly in front. The man on the mark is 50 metres out, won't make the distance, and that one just goes the required distance to Mark Micken. The skipper inside 50 now. Well, from two shots at goal, they've got two goals, the Bears. Can he can keep up the 100% record? He's gone pretty close, not quite long enough. And the first behind comes up. Nine points the difference in favour of Fitzroy, who played 13 minutes. Well, with uh, newcomer. McLean Paul and McLean dominating the ruck bounces. Uh, Micken needs to get a wriggle on here. And a goal there would have been handy. He couldn't make the distance. Number 41 is McLean. Uh, didn't know much about what was going to happen there. Indiscriminate tackle. Oh, the Bears come up with all right. But he's with us. Across to Williams. Oh, he's slipped as he's kicked it and doesn't carry the distance. Gale with good handball out of trouble. Across to Pegan. He shepherded it for well. Right down the, the centre. He's reached the centre now. He's run a good 60 metres and doing it comfortably. Onto the half forward line now. And then goes a handball to McIver. Oh, and he gives it back to Peter. Must be just a bit out of puff. His kick book as it was. <laughs> and he's, <laughs> he didn't want the ball back, Jeff. <laughs> he was he, gone. He wanted McIver to keep going. But they're pumping it forward, the Roys. There's many of them up forward. And Billy Loken wheels on to the right. Beautiful pass to Ruse. undecided about whether he can make the distance not a bad effort Osborne from behind still in play chance for Conlon one of his miracle goals it's a pass instead and finally a behind oh, what was Randall doing then <laughs> he must have got a shot when uh, Mickey Conlon passed it to him even though it wasn't a pass it's still a bit of a shot Colin passes the ball to you. He's right with a magnificent kick right out to the half back line. In fact, that's gone further. And Pekin, who did a wonderful run down the field, uh, just helps teammate there in Keith Thomas to take that mark. Then straight to full four. Mickett knocked away from him. 
Hardy will dust it off and uh, find him losing it. Handball. Harris in charge. Williams. Across to uh, Carlson. Back to Hardy. Fumbling. Oh, Williams topped the hard one. Good shepherding. Into attack. Or was it Walsh? Walsh, Walsh. Walsh. And it's marked half forward by Hine. Need to change for the first time. Brenton Phillips on. Hine inside 50. Drives it low. It swings off at the last moment. Chance for Hardy. Wrong side. Ever alert Brad Hardy behind the pack near goals. The difference is nine points again in favour of Fitzroy. Well, Hardy started on the back line to, and then followed the ball right down, so uh, his skills to get from point A to B uh, must be uh, admired. Gary Perth. Lyon. That's it, MacIver. The handball looked good for Brains. He put uh, Rich in a bit of trouble. Barwick boots a long one. Oh, the bounce. Puts Osman in the, there's a chance now. Good tap onto Rendell. Rendell can't handle it. Osman can't get back on top of it. Here's Ruse, 15 metres out, steadies and misses. And he's kicking like a backman. Yes, chapter of errors. Uh, the defence of the Bears is still very, very fragile. They, every time they get it, they seem to be under so much pressure that uh, they look like they're going to do something and give it straight back to Fitzroy. It all started from a bad handball from Reigns in the centre of the ground, which put his team under pressure. Should be a free kick to Reynoldson, all over it. Advantage is called. Williams suits it away to Micken. Richardson running through the middle, caught by Kapler. He's lightning, Darren Kapler. And the crow eater has it in the middle. Towards Ruse against Reynoldson. They take one another out of it. Osborne battling and is beaten by Gibson. Back in board to McPherson. Former Footscray player to Walsh on the wing. He's had a good start, Walsh. Crowd say he was off. Umpire say he wasn't. So Walsh heads away, just shy of centre wing. Pick drop short, the mark taken by Laurie. String beam. Going straight down the centre. Runs a good measure then. I'm for Ruse. Good judgment by Reynoldson. Which is not going to get caught for the second time. Well, Britton Phillips runs into trouble. He virtually slowed up and waited to be tackled. Can the Bears get something going on the, the defence? They can't. Micken. Carlson. Caught. Williams now. A little bit of experience here with a long kick to full forward. The Lions wait for it. Right on the ground. Thornton clears it. Running out to the wing. Gale it is. A lovely pass. And a fine mark. Ruse. You hear that call from the crowd? Ruse when he gets it. Pekin, beautiful handball. The youngster McLean in his first game. Great presence of mind. Found Rendell. The skipper accepted it, but uh, McLean could have been excused for having a shot there. And uh, he's been congratulated for spotting the man and picking him out beautifully. So Matt Rendell shouldn't miss this one. Don't believe Fitzroy, they should have this game wrapped up by now. We've played 18 minutes and they lead by just 11 points. Yes, Matthew Rindle, hang your head in shame as you did. You know, uh, obviously players know when they make a mistake and Matthew put his head down and that's what was just a bad waste. Good understanding there between McCarthy and uh, Reynoldson and Reynoldson marked that very well. Certainly held up play and all uh, positions are covered into the centre of the field. McLean doing well. Barwick missed the catch. Handball is good. Grogney Harris with a long one out here to uh, Campbell. Oh, and Falk rushed in on the scene. Got a bit of it up. Really fairly ripped out of play. Jeff, the Bears are desperately trying to get the handball going, but uh, they're doing it inaccurately and putting their other players under pressure. Micken, beautiful tap to Carlson. I want the half forward. Fitch running onto it. Well knocked away by Gales, good defence. Runs loose though, here's Judge. Goes backwards, but he's got a man unmarked in the middle. Walsh, been their best player. Oh, undoes it by kicking it into uh, Thomas. Too much speed there, Thomas too. Got the handball away. Pekin, 
Long searching handball, Mackay. Now, this is good play from the Roos. Can they cap it off with an Osborne mark? Free kick he's been jumped into. So Richard Osborne. He's not the leading goal kicker this season. There's McCarthy. Couldn't stop himself. Osborne, in fact, has uh, one less than Barwick, but this to level it up at 46 the season each. Fine kick. And last there on target. So Osborne has kicked one, two so far this afternoon. Yes, he's an excellent uh, kick watching there. A bit careless uh, by McCarthy. His teammate Michael Gibson had front position and almost had it under control. And uh, as he jumped, he tried to uh, to miss Richard Osmond, but the results are there and an accurate kick. Certainly, he should have three goals because he's had three easy shots so far. Comments by John Nichols. Lions 4 7 31, Brisbane 2 2 14. And the Lions begin to attack again through Harris. Osmond charged it out. Gibson with him. Good play here by Carafa. Oh, he lifted it up there for Rendell, who's not as quick, anywhere near as quick as McCarthy. McCarthy swings play across to Phillips. Good one there by Carlson. Oh, wasn't good. I'll take that back. That was poor disposal. And John Nichols has been saying that they're trying to get the handball going, but. There's nothing positive about it. McCarthy beats Rendell. Rain swings to the wing. McLean knocks it to the ground. Campbell shoots it out for Carlson. Carlson will have to drive up to half forward for Judge. Oh, good play from Pert. Campbell's blind, but it's come off Kaplan. Chance for Rendell, got front position on McCarthy, who he nearly dropped it again. Hands not that sure today from the skipper. He's getting plenty of advice. Passes for Ruse, it's a mile too low. Not playing with confidence, Matt Rendell, and in his 100th match, it's Stephen Reynoldson. That's well placed to Mika. Oh, Mika, out of touch completely then. Pint picks it up now on the centre and kicks it straight out. Oh, I thought it was going out. It's grabbed by Feach. 40 metres and goal. He steadies and kicks. Goal. And he's goal. Well done, Ted Feach. It's his second. This is the first quarter at about the 23 minute mark. John Feach. Yeah, certainly uh, still a chapter of errors by the Bears. They've uh, right from McCarthy's kick out and missed his target by a metre. The, 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 the handballing really is the inaccurate problem. Watching Fitch's kick thread and through. Had the wind directly behind him, and that's probably the scoring quarter from down the outer end. Pekin had to get rid of it blindly. Caught his reins, just dwelt a little bit too long there. Got a chance again though, Judge. Driven forward by uh, Withers, that's a mark, a beauty for Pert. Plays on to Loken. Barwick calling for it and receiving it. Drives towards the centre. Conlon comes in, pumps it to the ground. Gale, beautiful handball onto the running lorry. Oh, what a pass out to Osborne. Being hemmed in, good defence from Gibson. Osborne squaring now, looking for a McIver mark. Williams, quick hands, now the handball's starting to work. Beauty out to uh, McPherson, came from Withers. Now Richardson, oh, he could have picked that up. It might come off all right, features there on half forward. Chance for two within uh, side two minutes, but uh, he didn't learn from the first one. He's put it out on the full, hitting the behind post on the full, and Perk takes the free. Free kick coming round the uh, the outer wing. He's peeking and he's going for another one of these long runs. And he ran out of gas the last time and couldn't finish it off when the ball came back to him. Oops, McPherson gets the kick. And he's hardy using his hips and using his head too. Mickett. Chip down there to Withers. He's got it, but right on the boundary line. And 
going back to have a deliberate kick into Ken Judge. Good kick. The full forward. What a desperate defence there by the Lions. Fine in there for uh, the Bears. Sounds like uh, who are being attacked by the Conquerors or something here, but it, uh, that microphone has been on just about the whole match and you've heard it popping and clicking. Uh, this has been mayhem in the committee room or something. That's about 30 metres out. Mick and Spiss. Oh, good play from Pert. Didn't take it, uh, possession of it. And uh, was tackled when he didn't have it. So Gary Pert in the back pocket for the Roos. Where's he going to kick? Straight down the centre or go to the outer side of the ground? Down the centre. There was a target. It's Ruse, of course, ran in from the wing position. Thomas to Pekin. Cotland sets himself in a good spot. Oh, and it slipped through his hands. And Hardy waited for it, did it well. Skies it. Here's Ken Judge. A lot of experience here, but he didn't play it terribly well. Harris gets it. Into the pocket. Gary Pert has it. Out on the full. String, I think, Pert as he finds Loken. Coming around the attacking flank, goes towards Kapler. Well, knocked away by Carlson. Barwick. Neither Reigns nor he shirking the issue. Meeting each other with hip and shoulder. The throw in just forward of the centre. It's Roy in attack. They lead by 11 points. Could be a lot more. Done well, uh, the Bears, to stay with them. Slocan thrown to the ground. Williams hands off to Carlson. All Fitzroy here. Gale gets some shepherding from Laurie. Into the middle, good pass. Beacon, is it? Keeps it low. Ruse couldn't hold on to it. Phillips away to McCarthy. Running from fullbacks, good football. On his own, it's Hardy. Looking to put uh, the Bears into a good position here with a driving kick in the direction of uh, O'Brien. Handball comes out to Withers, feeds it back. Good play between he and Harris. Withers on the end, and yes, he's got his second. Good systematic football, especially Withers and Harris combining there. And they're only five points down as we're into time on at Princess Park. There's certainly uh, good use, good use of handball, even though it was probably risky. The one-two play back. Withers kept on running. Second goal. 25 metres out, allowing for the breeze, coming back. Lucky they didn't paint the post yeah. during the week. It's Rendell and uh, McLean changing ruck full forward. And Rendell tries to tap it down to his rover. Mick it with a lot more pace, gets it out. Withers come out without the football. The Lions come back into it through Thornton. Oh, good play there by Richardson. Keep it at bay, here's Harvey. Watch him use his body. Here's Eddie Slow. Gets a push in the back. Gets the free kick. I think he may have played for that to a 50-50 uh, chance <laughs> there. He's, he's certainly not slow with the balls there, Jeff. No, that's right, John. Well said. And Hardy's kick's all right as well. Down to full forward. Knocked out of play. Laurie getting a lot of use of the ball. Then it's Rafa, little fellow in his first game. Iceman turned his back up, but he's running towards goal. Can he beat McCarthy? He does. Good play, Osman. A blind kick. Rage had it, dropped it, grabbed by Barwick. It'll be a test of the Bears now if they come out of this all right. It's Ruse. He slips. They stood out well. Howard's kick is hopeless. Great opportunity wasted then. It wasn't Reigns playing a solo effort there in the goal square. He wasn't getting any help and he, he did it so well, but then gave the handball straight to uh, Ruse, who slipped. It was a comedy of errors, and there's another one straight into the back of McCarthy is McLean. So the pressure taken off the Bears here. We've played 29 and a half minutes. Williams kick, kept in play by Walsh. Thomas right on him. Ball called the crowd. Now they'll say play on. Thomas to Osborne. Now there's a chance for Loken. He's missed anyway. The score will count. So at quarter time, in a pretty scrambly old quarter, not too much quality football in it, but the Brisbane Bears have stayed with Fitzroy.
They trail by just one strike kick, and those uh, six points made up of Fitzroy behind. Yes, sir. About to get underway in the second quarter with Brisbane going from left to right, but again, it's McLean wins the first tap, but Reigns gets it out on the middle for the Bears. Chance now for Judge. Ball wouldn't come up to him. He gets through the eye of the needle, caught by Laurie, and has been penalised. He's a bit unlucky there, Ken Judge. The ball wouldn't bounce to him at all, and when it did, it came backwards and put him amongst a pride of Lions. He was soon caught. Laurie to the wing, looking for Kapler. Good mark under pressure, Darren Kapler. He's a great player, a very exciting player, and a gutsy player at that. But we must say he has a lot of talent. He finds Pert now, kicks it to two of his teammates at full forward. Osmond to the man for the target. Carafa. His first game, oh, and that's close. It's it just skimmed the post. Two behinds from Carafa. He's two shots at goal in, in football. Captain's here again from behind, though, it's Ruse. Unattended, he drives for them. From behind, Osborne couldn't quite mark it. And it's Reigns to clear up for the Bears. Beautiful handball to Micken, the skipper, getting some shepherding. Goes towards High and in front, though, almost a mark for Cameron. Bounces it through to Osborne. Now, McLean. Ruse's target, knocked away by Reynoldson. Campbell's handball out to Reigns. A driving kick spilt there by uh, Thornton. But they get it away through Gale. Chance for Barrett. Got the call from Conlon and couldn't get the distance into it. And stupid Reynoldson a gift. Certainly going back to uh, have a look around Reynoldson. That goes to the outer wing. And that's on Cutlass right there. Fitch as well, his teammate. Carlson's grabbed the tackle. Loose ball as Fitch backs out of the pack cleverly. Ships it in to, to Reigns. All across to Nickett. That wasn't a good thought. McLean knocks it down, waiting for a, a, a short man to pick it up. Does Thomas. Handball is good. Loka steadies. Goals. Good play, Lions. Over the second quarter in fine form. Watch Good running play by Logan. Watch the tunnel ball yes. from McIver. Fantastic. <laughs> yes. Just inside 50 metres, uh, Billy Logan, but uh, certainly some umpires have almost uh, free kicked that type of knock on uh, the tunnel ball one. But uh, I think uh, under these present style of rules, they have to be very lenient with those knock ons as long as they, they hit with force, even with open hands or whatever they are, they should be just allowed to get the ball out. That down under heaps of pressure. Williams gets it forward for the Bears. Judge got a better bounce that time. Oh, good handball too. Walsh. Pass not a good one. Perth left it behind, but he got support. Ends up now with Pekin. McIver, his target. He's behind, knocks it down the ground. Another brilliant knock on from McIver. Chance for Thomas. Oh, beautiful pass to Osborne. Richard Osborne. Play on now the call. He didn't hear it from the umpire. The crowd were telling him to go. Osborne to the edge of the square. There's a bit of shoving going on there. Reynoldson loses it and Conlon goals. Second goal for Michael Conlon. He won't get too many easier than that, Stephen Reynoldson. But a fingered in his 100th match. Yes. Should have, should have taken control of the ball there, Reynoldson, and uh, Mickey Conlon won't give him any e easier goals than that one in his, in his career. Certainly, in the, in the goal square, just a, a very easy snap. An another mistake from the uh, Bears' back line cost them another goal. And in uh, a couple of minutes, the Bears have gone for from a uh, one-goal lead to a three-goal lead. A rest line for possession. And the Bears' foot passing and hand passing uh, leaves a lot to be desired. They're really coming unstuck. They're not finding teammates. Although well, they had at least 10 more handballs in the first quarter, very few of them found their mark. And Harris uh, boots the lines forward. Hardy plays in front and did that beautifully. The kick's not a bad one either. A bit long for a couple of his teammates there. Good tap on here by uh, 
by K uh, Beacon. Keegan, yeah. He did it well, kept the ball in front of him, got the shove, thought it. Ruse arrived too late to prevent Campbell taking a good mark. Matthew Campbell drives straight down the middle of Princess Park, looking for o, uh, Cameron O'Brien, but behind in front, it's Fitch who's taken the mark. Just about within scoring range. No, he's kicking into the breeze slightly. He's going to go the short pass to Judge. Oh, he had three lines around him. It's come off, though. Richardson, O'Brien in his way. Richardson to Hine. And the knock through from Perth is superb defence. But the pass was a shocker. There that uh, from Fitch. There were three lines and no way it was going to find its target. That one has, though. Away goes Thomas. Quickly out to Bruce, who's moved from the half forward into the centre. The line very uh, looks though he's in a bit of trouble. In the hands of the trainer on their full back position as Gale takes it, shoots a pass into centre half forward. Bears are covering the positions. Grab around the neck by Carafa. Here's Colin, crashes his way through. That's a good effort. But he's missed it. It's a behind. Yes, that uh, reminds us of the uh, Mick Connell of old, uh, barging through with strength, and uh, the wind just took the ball away from uh, the, the four points. 19 points the difference. It's Richardson. Finds Phillips. McCarthy. Front position, Fitch. Good play from the Bears. Moved it well, the pass behind. He's got front posse. Oh, but dropping in to take it away is Cameron. Gets some good shepherding too from Thornton. Cameron drives towards Loken. He stops, comes up the head, chest of Carlson out to Williams. He gives it to Reynoldson. Up from half back, handballs to O'Brien. Pass a good one, Harris, but uh, for a cute angle. It's a bit of circular football, as uh, John Nichols indicates. It's all right if they keep possession, but uh, they tend to waste it too easy. That was probably gained uh, 20 metres, and Richardson is a very good shot at goal. Even though the breeze is probably coming across him, uh, with, with all the stands built around the, the Robert Heatley stand end, it's much more sheltered than what it used to be. See if he can make the distance. 45 metres where he kicked it. He gives it every chance, right up in the air. He's missed it, it's a behind. And the four Bears goals have been kicked from uh, snapshots. The kickers have been Withers and Fitch. Third. Booming kick. Past the edge of the square. Knock on from Ruses. Brilliant. Away goes Pekin. Pass is glorious to Carafa. He's been paid the mark. What a good effort against uh, a champion, Brad Hardy. He really hit him with everything, Hardy. Held onto it, and the pass finds Laurie. This young fellow, Carafa, could be uh, a player of the future for Fitzroy. Yes, shows a lot of promise. Uh, as usual, Brad Hardy gives him a lot of latitude, but uh, things he's done under pressure have still been very good. And Grant Laurie, cap off. He's a player that started at full back for the Roys. 35 metres out. Allows for the breeze, and it uh, takes it across too far, as far as he's concerned. So the goal kicking today from both sides hasn't been uh, anything to write home about. They lead by 19 points, Fitzroy, and we've played uh, nine and a half minutes here at Princess Park. Now Hardy going for the short kick for Micken, and he's covered by a couple of uh, lions. They knock the ball down, but good scanning by Phillips and also uh, Richardson for the Bears. Lions pretty anxious to get that ball uh, out of play, which they did. And a throw in. Half forward uh, for the Bears. Tapping it down. Barwick charges through. Whoops. Coming out there to uh, Armstrong. Chance here. Oh, Kaplan. Should have done a lot better than that. It's two very bad mistakes. It was a very bad fumble. Uh by the Bears player, it was went straight through his hands and then Kepler broke clear and then a pathetic kick. Rendell tries to grab it out of the air. That's Carafa throwing himself in. 
I often wonder with these sort of games with the lack of crowd and lack of atmosphere there, lack of uh, yeah. pressure really when uh, you know you tend to they tend to relax a bit and then let, they let themselves down by uh, just sometimes just careless actions. Well, I guess both sides are looking forward to 1988 anyway. Cameron gives it off to Richardson, or rather Campbell. Toe here, throws the ball away though. Uh, Thomas knew he's about to be claimed by Walsh. And lucky not to be penalised. Nick a good tap down to Richardson. He had nowhere to go. He's got one in the back. That's McIver trying to handball it away. Ion says the umpire. Comes out to Conlon from the boundary line. To the edge of the square is a good kick. Loken got one that shot on him. He's got support. Gale. Fine pass to Ruse. Doesn't waste uh, the ball too often, Michael Gale. Eighth mark for Paul Ruse. Forty metres out. Fall short. Bears driving up towards the wing. Cameron wrestling against O'Brien. Good play from Cameron. Kept front position well. And he's still in there battling. Stuart Cameron, good piece of play. 47, the Lions, 28, the Bears. Ten minutes into the second turn. Mickham uh, getting a feel for it now against young McLean. Oh, backwards. Clever kick there by Williams. He's Mark with us. Harris runs into position. Well, has a quick check over his shoulder. Shoots the, the short one. Oh, can the Crescent get there? No, he's beat pointless by Pert. He was only going at half pace. Pert rolled up and then passed away nicely. Pekin. Oh, Laurie it is. Feeds it back to the running Pert. Superb play for a full back. He's into the square now. And a pass to Barwick on the bounce. Leaves it behind. Reigns is caught by Barwick. He's still being held. Williams claimed there by Barwick. Two big tackles from Doug Barwick. Pleasantries exchanged. The umpire comes in to claim the ball. Still 19 points the difference in favour of Fitzroy. Played 12 and a half minutes. Second quarter. And it's Ford from Logan. Logan quickly on a Roos. Roos can't find the goals. Oh, here we are. Big Matt Reynolds ran out but came at him so quickly and so low he couldn't, didn't have time to drop it. He's kicked one goal, one, had a miss. Once he gets in the, the rhythm of things, uh, we can expect him to kick goals. And that's his second. And the third of the quarter, the last. Once again, the reason why Fitzroy are so far in front is that they can, they're finishing their playoff much better than what the Bears are. Until the Bears can get that system in their forward line and sure a ball handling, they'll find it hard to win these sort of games. Bicken wins the tap. Campbell goes with the left eventually. Pitch underneath it. Mark taken by uh, Thornton. A good one. Stand underneath it. They all were bearing down on him. He gets it going quickly. Loken. Ruse, the crowd call. Ruse can't hold that one. He's got a shove, though. Paul Ruse about 65 metres out from goal. Barwick's made the lead. Pass into the puck to Rendell instead. Carbon copy of the last sorting forward. Rendell. Put it through from a less uh, acute angle than this one. Yes, he's, he's, he's had very little hope of going from there because the wind is coming right across him from here. Had to start it out way left. Not a bad effort. Up goes McIver. Goal for Armstrong. Great roaming, Matthew Armstrong. And it was a good kick from Rendell from that position. They're starting to finish off their work now, the Roys. Yes, right in the square. Off hands. 
correctly called, very well read, well roved by Armstrong, his first goal. The Lions really going to town now. I think McLean gets away. Hardy tries to intercept. Picked up by Micken. A nice pass. Oh, McPherson can't get there. And Hines too slow. Pert uh, in charge. McPherson gets it back again. He combines with Hine. Gale knocks it away. Lions seem to have all the answers. The Bears can't penetrate this solid defence. And the free kick's going against them once more. Be picking up by Kapler in the back pocket. Thornton down there. The uh, trainer's very quick to get out to uh, look after him as Mikaela bounces the handball across to Pekin and into the rooms. Down the wing he goes. Richardson uh, can't catch him. Conlon's handball to Rendell who throws it back to him. He's been let go. Mickey Conlon can't find the handle. He's got nothing in mind here except the goals. <laughs> he went pretty close too. He was thinking about that goal before he even had the left. Yes, well, Mick's, uh, Mick's been, spent some time in the seconds this year, and uh, now he's back in, he wants to kick a few goals and stay in. Yeah, you're not wrong, John. Pika. He read that well. He virtually marked out opposed. What a poor kick out, though. It was, uh, they kicked it to Williams on a lot of occasions, and he had three opponents against him, but they still kick it to him. Well, here's his kick from Pika. Didn't really find a man there either. Handball out to Hardy, and Hardy sees a loose man. Oh, I hope Fitch will get there. Fitch at Gale, and he beats uh, Gale. Comes around, man loose in the centres, Ken Judge. He just gets his hand to it. Oh, and he's bowled over far too easily. Thornton up on his feet. Here's Hardy, ducks into the tackle, gets it round. The umpire didn't to give him the free there. Rightly so. Chip under Carafa. Is this Harris? It is Harris. Quickly across to Fitch. Fitch gets a loose man, and Nick and he'll mark it. Good play. And this will be the first goal for the quarter, the second quarter, in 17 minutes uh, for the Bears, kicking to the Robert Heatley stand-in. Did what he had to, kick the goal. Mark Mickens first. Yes, well, probably better play coming up the wing, watching a chain of hand passes and interceptions there. Harris breaking clear. Well, Hamper, I said to Fitch, but very well read. A nice, deliberate left foot pass to Mickham, who crept down, made the loose man, and took a very easy mark and a very easy goal. Certainly a valuable one, because before that, it had taken them 17 minutes to kick their, their only two, two points for the court of the Bears. Tap one by Hyde into the ruck for the first time. Here's Gale being pushed backwards, but uh, there is Pekin. 15th possession as he goes forward and falls short under the chest of Reynoldson. Reynoldson. Uh, I'm sure that it was. The pass comes uh, up here to Walsh. Away he goes, and the pass is a good one to McPherson. Well, it was Cameron O'Brien. Reynoldson's covering the forward line. Yes, they've done a swap, so uh, 15 metres now. And uh, McPherson nearly within scoring range. Rob McPherson chips for Micken instead. Oh, very strong Micken. And uh, it's Thomas Thornton who then run it through. Very cool handball there from Thomas. Only five metres out from goal, but Thornton there to receive it. Put it through for a rush behind. The difference, 25 points in favour of Fitzroy. Perk puts it back into play. Well kicked. Williams should mark it. He does. It's meant for Osborne uh, or Kappler, but uh, Williams just set himself set himself on the mark as well. And a good run here by Walsh. A couple of the old magpies. Walsh started with, uh, with Collingwood, then went to Richmond, and that's uh, from whence he came to join the Bears. And good play by these two. They should kick this, Jeff. He's in uh, the right kicking side, sheltered with a breeze. It's a low kick. Won't... Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> but he had marked it. It was a poor kick. Oh. Poor, uh, He's played on and kicked the goal. Second for Mark Mickett. Yes, luckily for the Bears, because uh, it was a very casual kick by Philip Walsh, who's a, a, normally a very good kick. But from 40 metres out, he didn't follow through. He just tried to steer it. He didn't make the distance. There's Mickett. Yes, watching oh. him there. He's a bit lucky. Made very hard work of it. Oh, he 
he did, didn't he, make Mark Gregor? Still, two goals in uh, in three minutes. So full forward at the moment, Wickham. McLean beats uh, Mickham for that centre bounce. Mickham with uh, the two Bears goals in the second quarter. The ball up at the centre. The Lions are 60 points. The Bears are 41. 20 minutes in second term. And well, McLean's got a good uh, judgment for the bounce of the football. McPherson for the Bears. Hardy gets it. Cleverly controls it. Nice handball to Jeff Raines. Raines at half back. His disposal is dreadful. Straight down to Thomas. Thomas is going to play on now and put it up in the air towards Ruse. He's beaten. Grabbed by Richardson. Switches playing, goes backwards. McCarthy can't get there. Campbell's held and didn't have the football. We well, did have the football, and it's going to be a free kick. It's going to go against Campbell. Is that right? No, well, you said. It's almost right. It, uh, it was very, uh, very sudden death. He was leaning over the ball, but he had just started to lean over the ball and the umpire pinged him for holding the ball. So probably technically it was right, but very, very quick. He made a bad blue in dropping that handball that uh, really put the pressure on. I the... think in the previous four handballs of the Bears, three were inaccurate again. Matthew Armstrong, chance for his second goal. He's just 30 metres out. Want to start at left. Does that. The breeze doesn't uh, take it enough. In fact, it just keeps going. Compared to the breeze and the effects microphones, it's getting yes. quite strong across that goal now. 20 points the difference. Hardy goes short to McCarthy. McCarthy's holding up play, looking for someone to run into position. It's Brent Phillips or Williams, perhaps. Ooh, we nearly got a ride on uh, the line back. Good scouting here by the Lights Thomas. That was Carafa, went a little bit half-hearted there. Uh, it's O'Brien who's marked He plays on for the Bears. Down to Carson on the wing. Carson has a battle here with uh, Kapler. Eventually wins it, throws it out in front of him. And a free kick, a bit of attention, and Carson grabs it. 15 metres. Campbell up to half forward. Cameron knocks the ball away from Reynoldson. Roving here from Harris. Goes down and Cameron's able to get back on it. Pass towards Pekin, just too long. Carlson, caught high. But knocked it cleverly through there to uh, McPherson. They're losing their footing, the Bears, and Osborne up towards the wing. Two against one and the mark over the top taken by McCarthy. All the players have been drawn out around this area. There's no one in the 70 metres behind McCarthy. Uh, their goal as he kicks uh, ooh, all that, but no one down. McPherson's the player that's down. Good thinking by young Gale for the Lions to thump that ball towards the boundary line to put it out. There was no chance of the Lions getting into position to kick a goal then, so he put it out. Peter Knights. A little happier perhaps with the Bears now. They seem to be uh, getting to the ball first as Harris gets the ball forward. Oh, great catch by the diving Cameron. Go with the fight of the ball. And he's playing a pretty good game, Stuart Cameron. The kick, though, puts uh, Thomas under pressure. And this man, probably the Bears' best, Walsh, goes towards Micken, but he's found Pert instead. He's dropped the centre. Fitch goal here. Oh. Well... The error's been capitalised on. Three goals for John Finch. And the Bears get within 14 points. Yes, watching a, a very bad mistake by Pert. A very casual cool. Third goal by Finch, which certainly keeps within touch. Coming on to uh, time on the second quarter. And the Bears, through a mistake, kicked their third goal for the tournament. The Lions have kicked four. Here's Osborne. Let's go with a long one. Rendell's there. Uh, brought to the ground. McCarthy. Conlon, number 12. Charged in bull-like. Screws it backwards. It rips through for behind. For Mick Conlon. Two goals, three behinds. You've been a bit unkind. I've given him two goals, four. But certainly some of those four points uh, have all been desperate snaps. Two goal fours, right over Wherever he was, <laughs> wherever he's been. 24 and a half minute mark, Hardy, after some indecision, gets a five or six metre advantage. 
I'm, I may be critical of a little sarcastic towards Conlon, but I'm sure personalities like Mick Conlon, we need his style of football. It's good. The crowd love him. As soon as he gets the ball, you expect something uh, dramatic to happen, either good or bad. Yes, but it's good. It's, it's a person. He's a personality. This is with the kick off the ground, uh, Peek, and he'll be penalised. Carlson to take the free, should be 15, well spotted by the umpire. The ball was just dropped to the ground. Got returned to Carlson. He drives up towards Reynoldson. In comes McIver. All Lions down here. McLean, his first game. Quick with boot. Leaves it behind Carapa, another first gamer. O'Brien's done well at halfback. Williams, good handball to Walsh. Oh, on his own, Judge. They're looking better, the Bears. And they could be very close at half-time. The pass towards Phillips put him under pressure. And Pekin, uh, rather, Pert gets the ball back after initially spoiling. And a pass, a good one to Thomas. Rendell now. Not much to kick to. Now goes towards Kapler. Almost holds it. Campbell. McCarthy. Withers with the left boot, two against one, it favours the Lions and the mark from McIver. Not much up on the forward line, is there, for the Bears? Uh, kick, to kick. This guy was ripping through to take the uh, the handball. Have to come back and uh, the guy to kick over the mark as the umpire signals him now. He's kicking to a couple of Bears, unless Roos can mark it. He wasn't on the scene quickly enough. Kappa, very quick. A beautiful kick. Look at that. What a gem of a pass across there to uh, Stevens. Really went like a rocket from his boot. Stevens. His first kick. It's a place to kick it too. He should kick it from there. Le left, aim for the left goal post. The wind should be right behind him. Let's see if you're right, John. Well, you're a good judge, aren't you? <laughs> I think it's his first kick of the match, and it's a goal. Have you played a bit here before, John? Yes. Once again, it probably started from uh, almost a mistake by Ken Judge up the other end of the ground. I felt it probably should have been a shot for goal because he's an, an immaculate kicker of the ball, Ken Judge. The pass wasn't quite on to his Fitzroy teammate. Bears teammates. Off the ground from Fitch. It was given away to Williams. Kappler kept battling. McIver dives through. Pekin. Laurie. Armstrong. Can get back on it. He's got a chance, but Richardson did it nicely. He's holding the ball. He's penalised. You saw him. He had the ball there, was making no attempt to get rid of it. Great low shot on that. As Pekin gets it forward. Oh, big mark taken by Ruse. Split the pack. And vice-like grip. He's taken uh, a power of marks today. Ninth mark for Paul Ruse. Should cap it off from 30 metres. No mistake. So just when Brisbane was starting to make a run at Fitzroy, they're steady, got two goals. Here's Paul Ruse, eyes on the ball the whole way. Lovely, Mark. Yes, good pair of hands. Uh, I think most of us would still prefer to have him as a centre-half back, but certainly whilst he's playing centre-half forward for Fitzroy, he's, uh, he's always a very dangerous opponent to have uh, for the opposing side. 29 minutes into the, the uh, second quarter, the Lions have kicked six goals, the Bears have kicked three. It's Hardy, boots it high, not a very good kick at all. Here's Ken Judge, can he get a long kick in here? Hines a chance against Perth. No, he's going half-hearted, Perth just outruns him. Not out strong enough, him. not strong enough. I don't think he played it with enough, but oof, either. And Perth bangs it out towards Kapler. Kapler on top, but that hand gives the Bears a chance now as Phillips gets into it. Hardy dwells a moment, across to Micken, and then to Reynoldson, and again, a goal is denied right on the siren. Oh, he's allowed it. And yeah, the not blown it. Whether the question is whether Reynoldson can kick it from about 52 metres. Into the goal square, about seven metres short. 
And at half time, the Lions with a good uh, second quarter with six goals. 10 14. Second half underway. The bounce favours the Bears. They trail by 27 points. Reynoldson, blind handball. Laurie down there to Thornton. Fitch. Kick off the ground from Laurie, though. Or rather, Thornton. It went, though, only as far as Judge. Goes 30 metres backwards and finds the skipper Mark Micken, who originally uh, knocked it in the middle. Micken's kick to Hyde. Uh, Walsh. Well, Laurie's trying to follow up there. It's Cameron for the Lions, who boots it up towards Barwick, and he's booted out of play. That'll be a free kick to uh, the Bears to be taken by Rains. Jeff Rains drives at the usual 55 metres towards Hine, outnumbered. Missed at it two times. Push in the back. Mark Williams doesn't agree. Tells the umpire that. And it's a Fitzroy free kick. Scott McIver, Queensland born. Gets the lead from Ruse on the wing. Front position. O'Brien couldn't mark it. Pretty quiet start to the third quarter. They lead by six points at quarter time, Fitzroy. They lead by 27 just into the third quarter. And Fitzroy's six goals to the Bears three uh, in that second quarter made all the difference. And the handball and their foot passing is much better. There we go Mr. Drews. See what he can do, place Mr. Conlon. Conlon could have tried a bit harder to catch that. It's the 50 metre mark up in the air to Rindle. Rindle and McCarthy. Well played McCarthy, put Rindle out of business. Osbert, poor handball. Barwick fumbled it, in kicks. He scored something, only a behind. A bad fit of the fumbles by the Lions end, uh, probably cost them the goal. Yes, it was good defence by McCarthy. He was caught uh, five metres in front of Randall, but got back and almost marked the ball. Rains, beautiful kick towards Micken, tries to thump it on. McIver, got it from uh, Thomas. Handball to Armstrong on his own. Matthew Armstrong brings up his second. No, a behind. Yes, it is his second behind, not his second goal. That's what he was hoping for. And the crowd really get into the goal umpire. I think uh, Matthew Rendell uh, was trying to con the goal umpire then, uh, clapping and ma making out there was a goal, but uh, the goal umpire wouldn't have any. It must have been a very close decision all the same. That's the way. Most noise the crowd's made all day. <laughs> all 3,000 of them. Range kicked the nicker, but it was Lyons McLean who got the ball away. Walsh has been a good player for the uh, Bears, has pulled out then. Uh, here he goes again. Nick it chips it up. Carlson gets it out. The Bears are fumbling. And Laurie just steams in there. Handball across to Osborn and uh, Thornton uh, back it up. Gale takes it now. His kick is wide towards Ruse. He went into it. Didn't go back to Barrett, who slipped. Plays for position. And then decides you put it out. Seventy metres around for Fitzroy's goal. Mark Micken in the winter sunshine. Parapa gets the handball. Conlon trying to hold off Campbell, couldn't do it. Walsh. Thomas after him, doesn't have the toe. Good kick. Mark taken by Steve Reynoldson. Geelong's big hope at centre half forward. In his 100th match. Give the Bears something down there. He's gone right up to the line. Hardy in front. All ruse on the ground. This is Thornton. A clever little kick. Carlson taken over by Kapler. Half forward flank for the Brisbane side. They haven't scored yet in this term. Troy have been two behind. This is the third turn. McLean uh, slips in front of Micken and Micken gets the front position. Bit of experience. Tells there, Carson for the Bears. Notice how he 
he was uh, lying on his side so he couldn't be penalized for putting his body over the ball uh, this has all come about because of this new rule the ball up with Nick and a punch but not to anywhere in particular oh sweeping turn there by uh, Reynoldson and then Mark Williams and a fairly quick kick Hardy chips it up his feet whoops Gibson teaches kick three goals gets it out the back door Walsh again to the Bears, tackled by McIver, and holding the ball against Walsh. He hardly had it. Quick in the dead these days. Hurt. Osborne. Play on the call. Still play on. The players are standing, and it uh, should be a free kick to the Bears' advantage. Away goes Judge. Feeds off to Finch. And he's missed a gift. There's Brett Hardy uh, holding in his hands, looking for a handball. But, uh... It was not John, was it? He wasn't going to give it up because he kicked three straight. But uh, John Fitch and the ball was booted back into play. And Nick and uh, try to tip it over the top. Whoops, there's Williams. Ducks under Pekin's arms. A little untidy footy there. There have been moments of uh, very ordinary stuff. Yes, yeah, interesting with that uh, previous uh, thing with Fitch and Hardy. If uh, the ball, if Hardy had have had the ball running here and open goal with it, with it, he would have handballed a Fitch. <laughs> I can tell you the answer now. Mickett doing well in the ruck. Banfield dies in it, but he's beaten. Chance for Lopen. And Brian right over the top of him. Leg there was Harris or Walsh. Umpire's really letting it go now. Lopen. Up to Conlon. Thrown down by Campbell, 15 metres. Nick Conlon. High for Rendell. Two nines together. McCarthy front position. Rendell the mark. Play on though. Doesn't matter. Oh yes it does, he's missed it. I thought the result was going to be the same anyway. But Matt Rendell has kicked 2-2. Two -two. He was probably a little lucky. I felt that uh, McCarthy could have got a free kick because uh, he had front position and Rendell was really all over him, trying to get past him, and uh, even though he did it to finish, I'm sure Rendell isn't happy with his kick in the last three shots he's missed. Uh, Jeff Wright kicks at a tall timber to uh, McCarthy, who, uh, not just speaking about playing full back against Rendell, but he's beaten by Kepler. And Kepler got front position and did it brilliantly. He's a long kick, this kid. See if he can kick the goal. It's not far short. Can Rendell get there? No, one hand, one. That's not good enough. Campbell, nicely up to Richardson. He charges away. Puts a short kick in. Dreadful disposal again by the Bears. Well, actually, Jeff, it, he, he looked down the field. He had no one at all to kick to. There was about four Fitzroy Guernseys. So he had to try and make a few extra yards and went for the boundary because that was the only way out. Otherwise, it was just kicking straight to Fitzroy. And it was great chasing by young Carapa. As Harris gets the handball away to Reigns. Hardy. Oh, the fist was good play from Pekin. A little fumble there from Gale. Keeps his head. Cameron. Into the middle for Grant Laurie. Right in the centre circle, a pass of beauty to Osborne. Richard Osborne's kicked 1 2 this afternoon. Outside 50, he'll kick from. Hasn't quite got the distance. Ruse is there. Yes! He's kept it off. Didn't bother going back. Paul Ruse gets his second. It was probably just as well he did play on very quickly because the angle he would have been on, he would have been on an impossible angle again, right against the post. The yeah, still probably not much uh, the Bears could have done but they probably could have pushed him through over the line so at least he had to come back and kick it better players with more experience and more talent uh, being displayed by the Lions first goal for the third quarter Reigns nicely up the roll so combined well here's Judge into the dead pocket by the way though Hine and uh, Hines having a shocking game down there. He just brushed aside too easily. 
Well, Alliance nice defenders. There he is, number 15. See what he can do with the throwing. Needs to do some work in the gym, I'd say, during the summer. Pretty lean, isn't he? From South Australia. Micken against McLean. Bowie. Looked at about three options. Decided to drive long. Carapa or Osborne. One should Shepard. Under pressure, Carapa. He's got down. Free kick will be down ground. No. Be back where it occurred. Should have been down ground, so the crowd. Waste no time. The pass, beautiful to Osmond. It just swung at the last minute, though. And uh, it's Phillips who drives the Bears away towards Judge. Cap was there, beats two of them. And although wasn't spot on to Laurie, Carlson, he's a real battler. Williams. Fidge. Dale there with him. Holds him. So Fidge to take the free kick. That's John Fidge. Three goals, one. And again, the disposal is hopeless. Richardson. Bernie Harris. Left foot to an awkward angle. Hind. Oh, almost the line to stage. Gary Pert looks though he was adjusting his knuckles in and still had time to take the football. But it's coming back. Cameron it is. Kicks the ball. Capless Market. Capra, a good player, good wingman running up and down the field. Will kick up towards the wing there looking for Rouge. Rouge's got to beat two of them here. Fitch, Bop, uh, helping there. Good roving here by Gale. Then the handball quickly across. Oh, feeding on to Barwick. Barwick's long kick now. Rental. No, he's a panic rabbit. McCarthy. Good shepherding by Banfield. McCarthy kicks it to Judge. Play on, he didn't take it cleanly. Now it's holding the ball. Not holding them. It's holding Tubby. <laughs> <laughs> Big shove in the back, I think. And he won't get off the top of him. Against Thomas <laughs> and Ken Judge. He knows this ground pretty well. Former Hawk. Oh, too long for Williams. Should have been held by Cameron. He's taken some good marks. Good that one. Hardy. Not long enough. And Michael Gale is, as you like. Hurt coming out, puffing his cheeks, going at about half pace. He's had leg trouble this year, but full of class. Then a lorry. Lorry, a second chance. The string bean gets it out. And so O'Brien for the Bears, fits it out the Reigns. Reigns did everything. And something. Phillips. Withers. Judge. Williams. Judge again. Oh, nice sidestep, Ken Judge. That's a good pass to Hardy. And number five grabs it right on the grass. Oh, he should have got the pass away. The man on his own in the pocket. He uh, hesitated and has now been told to play on. All Fitzroy and they rush it over the boundary line. Yes, but uh, the player calling for it was John Fitch. <laughs> Bit of a memory <laughs> there from Brad Hardy. The money bank decisions. I'm sure he would have kicked it to him if he could have. Williams quickly off the judge. Oh, fine work there from Pekin. Been a good player, number 24 for Fitzroy. Smothering off the boot for a throw in on the half forward line. Only seen one goal kicked in this quarter, and we've played 14 minutes. Rendell against Mick and Rendell wins it of sorts. Loken. In front, it's O'Brien against Ruse. Holding him when he didn't have it. Cameron O'Brien off to Mark Withers. Searching handball to Micken. Back to Withers. Inside the circle. Square rather. Not a bad effort from Campbell. He's kicked it. Oh, top goal from in the square. Caught the ball napping. And Matthew Campbell's brought up a goal out of the blue. First to the quarter for Brisbane. It's very scrambling the game. Once again, handballs under pressure. Probably 60 metres, uh, 55, 60 metres out the ball's kick from. Good shepherding by Hardy. Only two goals scored in this third quarter in 15 minutes. One each. Megan beats Rental for the centre bounce. 
fellow going in there, Beth will try to find it. Scott McIver comes out with Logan. Lovely to Ruse. Brilliant touch there. But Ruse is a long way. He doesn't worry about that. Great Lowry and Osman. Now swings around the man of the mark and goes for the obvious. And he's missed it. Now why didn't he stop and have a set shot? And that's Richard Osman, isn't it? One three he's kicked today. There's yeah, certainly uh, two of his three points uh, should have been uh, majors, as the same as uh, the Matthew Rendell's uh, two points. They've missed some very easy shots. Loper, caught by Richardson. Chance now for the Bears. Campbell taps it on nicely to Walsh. Chips towards the lead from Fidge. Good mark, John Fidge. Held front position. More importantly, held the ball. About 40 metres out from goal, John Fidge, 12th kick coming up, three of those have ended in goals, as Stevens comes on, placing the clean. A bad effort, John Fidge has spit the middle, and the Bears get two quick goals, Fidge has kicked four for the afternoon. Well, he's top goal kicker in the match. Yes, a good tackle by Richardson on the wing. Bundle forward. Nice little chip pass from Walsh. Fidges is probably uh, looks to be doing everything so casually and so slowly, but obviously he's got uh, a lot of skill. But uh, sometimes I just wish that he'd probably, uh, similar to Reese Jones, try and push himself a bit harder because he's certainly got skill. Maybe the bulk holding back. It's Phillips uh, boots the Bears forward now. Reynoldson back to Withers. Now Withers just about on the half forward line now and balloons this one. Cameron's market. No, it's Grant Lurry. Um, I might be wrong. Another go. It's Tim Peacock. Now to Ruse. Phillips in front position. Got a shove from. Uh, Ruse will take the free kick in the back. Yes, when Withers uh, kicked that ball down to Hardy a minute ago, the Fitzroy player fell across his leg and looks like he's jarred his knee. Twenty-four points, the lead for Fitzroy. Rendell against Micken. They lock arms. Both get the ball at the same time. Banfield. Hardy being held should get a free against Pekin. Matt Hardy on the 50 metre line. Glorious winter sunshine here in Princess Park. Temperature is low though. Hardy swings it back. A pine! Yes! Whistle hasn't gone even though he got the second grab. McIver goes to the boundary. Kept in play by Judge. The players letting it go. Throw in about 15 metres from the Bears goal. Bears creeping up or catching up on the lines in this quarter. 27 at the start, 24 now. Another bounce. It's within the 50 metre semicircle uh, at the Bears goal end, of course. And let's see what Mark Mick and number one can do for the Bears against Randall. Breaks in front of him. Comes out. He's Banfield. Handball quickly. Campbell. That's close. Run behind. Three points for the Roos. Gary Pert is to be gaining confidence and fitness week by week. And the kick goes to the centre. Reigns the rover. Oh, and the pressure Phillips. Still got it away to Micken. Two against one. It favours the Bears and the mark for Judge. A beauty. Always outnumbered down there, the Roos defence. Ken Judge. 
should have no problems. It's a fine leap. But, uh, some of the goal kicking today, even from this sort of distance, has been very forgettable. That one's through the middle. And again, the Bears make a push back at the Lions. They've played uh, some 20 minutes here. I was watching Judge with the suit. Fidget the Perth at the front, but a good mark by Judge. And certainly in all, in all the games that uh, Ken Judge has played with Hawthorne, one of his great attributes is that magnificent kicking, whether it be at goal or around the ground. He certainly uses the ball very well. You're right, John. His kicking for goal was especially, wasn't it, with a very strong hawk forward line. And the Bears catching up. They were 27 points down. Now they're only 17 points down. 20 minutes into this third turf. Into attack again through Mickett. Here's Banfield having a good third quarter. Walsh has been a good great winger for the Bears. Free kick going to Banfield, and he'll pick it up. He's a good 60 metres from goal. And he gives it everything he has. It's a short kick. Feeds a chance. Oh, it's Pert at the back. Hardy chips it up. He must have heard a call there from someone. Here's Grant Laurie. Gets a short kick away. Carlson. A tall man requires not there. Fought in a good saver in that back pocket. Kicks it out. Whoops. Here's trouble. Mickens gets a handball. Chips a short one to Williams. And he's taking the kick from about 40 metres out. And the Bears have come back from 27 points behind at the start of this third quarter. And trailing by 17 now. It'll be interesting to see what Williams can do. 21 possessions to mark. Yet to kick a goal. Yet to score, in fact. And that's a pretty good kick. It's a goal. 11 points behind. And the Bears hit with a chance. It's interesting what's the uh, the flags on the scoreboard, uh, Jeff. It's obviously going straight across the ground. He's watching this passage of play here from Walsh. Handball to Mickham, a little chip over to coming over to Williams. It kicks truly. But uh, the wind is certainly, I don't believe, favouring either end. And if the flags do swing around, it means uh, that be the Bears will be coming home with the slight breeze. Walsh. Bad bounce for Carson. But he's got it back. <laughs> Luck's a fortune. He got a bad one. And uh, luck righted itself. And the mark taken by Reynoldson. Eight marks for Stephen Reynoldson in his 100th game. The breeze still slightly favouring that end, so uh, we could go close here. He's gone close, but not close enough. Mark almost hauled down by Hyde. It's been paid. That's about the best thing he's done all day. He, being kind of him, uh, he hasn't been a good player. Been a poor player up in that forward line, but uh, that's a top mark. Oh, I thought he might have held the uh, one earlier, a bit longer than that. Shooting for only a metre and a half out. And the Bears right back in this match. From the 15-minute mark, they have uh, kicked, let's see, uh, four or five goals. Five goals to get within five points. Yes, from uh, a game where Fitzroy looked to have it completely under control. It's, it's good to see uh, the, the Bears fighting back because uh, they've got enthusiasm. They're still slightly inaccurate with their hand passing, but uh, they've made a real fight of this. Now the Bears have kicked five goals to the Lions one in this third quarter, which is almost uh, well into the 25-minute mark. Logan kicks it forward. Roos not in good, good position to mark. Knocked down by O'Brien. Range with a bit of clever football. The handball's not terribly good. Phillips to Richardson, he's tackled, gets a panic handball away, Big, Big and picks it up, kicks it out to the wild spaces at the moment, Hind charges after it, and they've got a second mark coming off here, the clever Ken Judge, oh dear, oh dear, Richardson tripped when it was coming to him, good play Williams, Richardson again, what a Ken Judge, Withers, they're fiddling and fumbling, and now the kick comes up in the air, features a chance, nope, knocked away from him. Handball coming back was to Walsh. Came back from Gibson. Carlson, the wingman. Oh, dreadful finish after that. Very ordinary play. He's kicked it out on the full, 20 metres away from the scoring area. 
Well, they really dilly dallied in there while the trainers are having afternoon tea. A high cholesterol one. <laughs> Up went Loken from behind. And uh, he puts his teammate down, but Laurie gets it away. Roo's up one-handed. O'Brien threw it out in front of him. And he's been... Uh, he's done it well. Threw it away before being tackled. Very lucky. <laughs> McPherson. Trying to draw the man. Now off to Micken. The crowd's found its voice. Fidge is coming in from behind, but too late. The mark for Osborne. He's played on. Gibson. Got rid of it quickly to Hine. Pass from Phillips, a shocker. Reynolds and taps it back, but uh, onto it is Kapler. Grant Laurie. Driven along by McIver. Stevens gives him the lead. Pips it in front of him, Brett Stevens. He's played in Queensland. He's looking for someone to pass to, and that man is Bowie. Duck Barwick, 25 metres out, 45 degree angle. He and Richard Osmond having a personal battle to see who will get the half century in goal kicking this season. Both have 46 at this stage. Doug Barwick misses. He's kicked three behinds this afternoon. But uh, his team have kicked 19 and they still lead by one goal, but it should be a lot more. In fact, uh, Shane O'Sullivan looks worried beside uh, coach Peter Knights. They're still in at the Bears. The Lions uh, can see a sense of urgency, or feel a sense of urgency here. Not too many messages coming out from trainers. Obviously, the players know they're uh, in a bit of a bind. Only two goals to the Bears. A five in this quarter. These rules will encourage Dexter for the Lions. Casting the rope that the ringman for the Bears waits for him to come out. The great McCarthy corks and plays it like a solid defender, kicks it out of play, forces a throw in. Fitzroy's forward line. Brian on his own. He's done well at half back. Off to Reigns. Not a good handball, but Gibson can pick it up. Banfield back to Reigns. Towards Hardy. He's out uh, numbered and to quite the height. Mark taken there by Thornton. Hurt. Drives to the wing. Up goes Loken. Nicken. O'Brien. Nicken. Quite happy to see this one go over the boundary line, I think. And now go back to do the ruck work. Six points the difference. We played 28 and a half minutes here at Princess Park. They were 27 points down the Bears at three quarters at half time. Randall beats Mickett and uh, doesn't do anything with it. Then feeds it out. Oh, a long kick. Up the side of the field by uh, Armstrong. By Armstrong it is, yes. And Stephen stands up for that tackle very well. Changes his mind, gives it to the running Laurie. Laurie from 40 metres out. Goals. Points. <laughs> well, I guess. <laughs> well, I think he just... He's he he uh, not happy with his defence there, uh, Peter Knights, but I think you're pretty safe if you just say behind yeah. for uh, Fitzroy. Their kicking's been terrible. Kapler from behind has to punch. Gibson. Good corner for Brisbane. They kicked five goals two, while Fitzroy added one goal six. And the difference, seven points at three-quarter time. The difference. Fitzroy have the lead. They're going from right to left. The bounce favours Rendell, but Williams out jumps him. Had to sit and camp under it. Logan got it forward, the knock-on from Armstrong. Two number twos. Kick off the ground from Williams, goes to Carlson. Oh, good mark taken by Thornton, going back to the flight of the ball. 
goes back from Winter County. Three of his beloved lines here as well. Redmond couldn't take it. Richardson kicks it. Thornton again in the action. The home as well. Pert off to Gale. Has to beat three of them here. An underground one here to uh, Andrews. Armstrong rather. And Armstrong uh, looks as though he's hurt one half. He's on the half back line and comes in towards the centre. Ruse the target, of course. And hand across his shoulder. Well, I think you caught it right. It looked like a ruse free kick first to me. Carlson's got one for in the back. It was there, but the ruse one preceded it. Up to half forward. Fitch in front. Good mark, John Fitch. He gets one position. He doesn't drop them. He's the leading goal kicker on the ground with four. Five. Marks. All these hand signals. <laughs> Phil <laughs> finally got through. <laughs> He's shooting from 30 metres. 45 degree angle. He's missed. Goals have been hard to kick up this end. Four goals, two this afternoon from Finch. The difference, one straight kick in favour of Fitzroy. Staunton, surveying the field. Kicking towards Richard Osman. He had it, he lost it. Here's a hand. Ivor to Cutler, who set himself in the back pocket. Tons of pace and ability. Back line of the wing, kicks it towards full forward. Stevens with a the target there, it can't break away. The youngster in his first Carafa is his first game and has lost it. The Bears get it. Down to Walsh and Kepler. Walsh wins, and he's tripped. Professional foul. <laughs> well, it held the Bears up, so a good play from Kepler. Mark for Reynoldson. Almost, he was being held off. McIver has always finds someone with his handballs. He's been uh, standing out like a sore thumb today. Most of the other handballs going astray. Ruse has it on the ground. The umpire's copying a blast from the crowd. It's Roy in attack. O'Brien against Ruse. O'Brien, beautiful tap down there to Richardson. Walsh. He's found a target in Micken. Cameron wrestling with Reynoldson. Cameron now shepherding off, peeking. Towards Richardson. Bit of momentum up for the Bears. It's a goal, isn't it? The Lions are leading by uh, one goal. The Bears into attack. And Reynoldson can't mark from behind. Man in front was too good anyway. It's Cameron. Played quite well, Cameron. Sticking uh, as a defender. Kicks it across to Osman. He went with a wild punch. Spins off into their forward line. His Banfield goes down. Rather but cleverly gets it back to Gibson. Another Campbell. Then he'll kick the ball. Can Hyde take another big one? No idea this time. Free kick game. The Lions way. Tim Pekin's a man. Grabbed around the net. On the wing, it's Gale. Another man on his own, Osbert. Lions now. Get it up inside 50. McCarthy left but didn't put the hands up. All the runners. Beautiful pass across to Rendell. I think it was Grant Laurie. Either he or Tim Peakin. Peakin it was. Picked out Matt Rendell who's Kicking has uh, been pretty poor today. Two-two. Gwyn gets it, but it's already gone through. Oh no, it hasn't. Oh. He's missed another. Just checking the scoreboard there. Eleven goals, twenty-one for the Lions. Twenty-one behind. Range is going to kick the ball because he's such a lovely kick, an accurate kick. Who's he going to pick out? Reynoldson. 
He's number three for the Bears. Uh, he's beaten for high pace. Osmond waits for it to come out. Then he gets it on the second attempt. Quickly kicks it to the forward line. Armstrong was held. Conlon this time. Yes. Been struggling a bit for goals. And that's his third. A very important one. It gives the Lions a 13 point lead. It's very important to put almost a common of old. Um, good snapping at goal. And certainly uh, very early in the first quarter, the time clock hasn't started on the uh, scoreboard, but uh, it's a very important uh, goal doing Fitzroy that uh, slight buffer for a while. Ruse. Passes into the pocket. Stevens and Barrick battle on the ground. It's Doug Barwick. He's got another. No. <laughs> Four points straight for Doug Barwick. He must be wondering uh, if he's ever going to kick a goal again. Ninety-four to eight. The Lions. Only seven points in front of the start of this final turn. A guy. Stevens up there for the Lions. Richard Osman, clever shot, right across the front of goal, over towards Barwick, who's kicked four behinds, and uh, it's out on the full. He's screaming, why didn't you give it to me? It could be yeah. because he's kicked four behinds. I hope uh, Peter Knights doesn't have to ride back to Brisbane if they don't win. McIver. Spearing handball again, perfect. Loken to Carafa. The youngster goes to the unattended line. Watched through by McCarthy. 16 points, the difference. 18 hand passes to Scott McIver. And uh, one of the few men that have been effectively handballing. Yes, that's correct. He's rain, uh, range again. There's an up tall once there, but uh, they can't jump. Good player in Walsh. The kick now towards Reynoldson. Had up, lost it. Out point too easily by Cameron, but uh, good play there by Richardson. A little chip coming down here to, uh, to Harris. I hope going in him in distance. Fitch is giving him the lead. He's going to ignore Fitch and kick it towards Hardy, who's short on Pekin. Captain. Good thinker. Good player. Handballs to Garvey. Hardy can't catch Garvey before he kicks. Up to Osborne. Fickle bounce. That's a free kick to uh, Thomas. For a push. 15 metres as well. Man not on the mark. Thomas plays on. Good mark for Ruse. Just picks the ball down and is held. What's the three? It wasn't there. 12th grab for Big Paul Ruse. Man on the mark is on the 50 metre line. Going back on the goal line. Spilt there by McCarthy. He's held though after he's dropped the mark and is getting the free kick, even though the bulk of the crowd don't agree. The ball not going back quickly enough. Umpire's trying to get control again by handing out the 15 metre penalties. McCarthy. Good pass. Harris. Withers. Beats two. Three now. Handball away to Harris. Bernie Harris sets sail. The pass of beauty to Fidge. You can hear the smack of that from here as it hit uh, Fidge in the chest. Just as well he's got a pretty ample one. Would have drilled a hole through high in that pass. 14th kick coming up for John Fidge. This one from here early in the quarter. Just to put his side back within nine points. There it is, number five for John Fitch. The Bears keep in contact. Yeah, it's been a very busy player. Fitch is at full forward at the moment with uh, Brad Hardy in the forward pocket. Uh, obviously, Reynoldson at centre half forward. They're under man in the forward line as far as height and as far as marking power goes. Fitch has done very well to kick his five goals so far. 
the man looking after Fitch is Fitzroy champion coming back from injury and Gary Perth. We're getting out of the drink. Randall again leads pick in the second time. Connor thumbs him on. Tackle there on Thomas. And that's a free kick against him. He's holding the ball against Thomas. And a 15 metre penalty against Thomas. Brenton Phillips picks up the football, comes to the centre, kicks it to Fidge again. Can he take another sensational mark? Hurt there, the master. Fidge again! Six goals, perhaps! It is! What a performance from John Fidge. By far the top goal scorer in the match with his half a dozen. Fitzroy's best is Mick Conlon with three. Yes, uh, a great snap. Three points the difference now, and uh, we've got a real ball game. We're coming up to the 15 minute mark. Certainly, uh, the Bears have looked at their game. Fitzroy has squandered chances, and it looks like being a very exciting last 15 minutes. Closest it's been all day. Campbell. Fist taken by Walsh. He's running up to within 50. Goes for them. Banfield's going backwards. And good defence to knock it away from him. Tim Peakin, very timely. Didn't go through the behinds, though. It's a throw in beside the behind post. The Roy fans trying to get their team back on song. They've kept the game interesting for us anyway, their goal kickers, kicking at 23 behinds. Chance now for Judge. Another throw in. Played uh, coming up to 14 minutes. And the football in uh, the Bears forward pocket, and they're doing all the attacking, and they've really got a smell for it. Campbell's gold! But they've hit the front. The Bears have taken the front position 40 minutes into this final turn and a great kick. Quick one at that by Campbell. It's his second goal. He's watching in the middle of the pack on the edge of the goal square. Three points in front uh, Brisbane. And what will start off being basically a dull, dull game with a lot of mistakes. A great fight back by Brisbane. Let's see what the ruse are made of. Rendell, the skipper's thumped it up to half forward. Here's Gibson. It'll come back. Does Loken. Plenty of time to wheel around. To half forward, two against one, but the one oh, should have won out there, Osborne. Play on the call. Crowd say it was uh, in the back. Kurt saying it's in the back, the umpire saying it's out of play, but it's back in Fitzroy's forward line and they're trailing by three points. Here's Richard Osman taking a wide arc, it'll be an almost impossible goal this one, it's marked by the Bruce. I think it's his 12th mark. 13th mark from Paul Roos. He's kicked 2-1. He'll kick this, I'm sure. The Lions, three points behind. He just chips it three, very nicely, thank you. Three goals to Roos. And that puts it back in front by three points. And it's a good solo effort by uh, Richard Osman, 50 metres out on his left foot, just centering the ball. Roos in front, watching Brad Hardy being taken off the ground. Being replaced by Rob McPherson. Certainly had a very poor day today, Hardy. He hasn't contributed very much. Rendell against Hine, unsure about where it's gone. Knock on from Thomas, only as far as Phillips for the Bears. Lions have the numbers here. Mark from Perth. Ruse making a lead for him at half forward. That's where the ball's gone. In comes Ruse! Telegraph that one, off he goes to Armstrong. Wrong side, 24th behind for Fitzroy. 
Matthew Armstrong has kicked one three from interchange. Range coming up as well. Yes, yes. He's, he's limping, but he is limping. Uh, I'd say he must have a cork leg or something by the look of him. And replaced by Darren Carlson. So two of the younger players replace the experienced men as McIver goes with the fist. Difference is four points. Favour of Fitzroy. Oh, he fell over Carlson. But he's got support from Phillips. Good pass. Under pressure. Got it to Walsh. The half forward on his own. Gibson off to Banfield. Judge and Fidge. Fidge throws it back there to Withers. Shepherd from Judge. Mark Withers. Three points the difference. 17 and a half minutes. Final turn. Fitzroy had the lead. So strong marking by Perth the days has been a telling factor as he chips that off to Pekin, then off to McIver, then to Thomas from the half back line, out of the half forward line. Ruse is not a distant counter. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, he's getting it. A wonderful performance from Paul Ruse. The goal will put them in front. Out to Tim Pekin. The kick to Stevenson. Stevens it is, not to take it, it's not to be able to play. There's Brad Hardy taken off in this final quarter. Stevens could have given it to Logan, instead goes for Kapler. The pass not long enough, Paul Ruse within 40, keeps it low. Good shepherding, no, the hand was there. Fine work. Got up high to get his hand in there, O'Brien, I think it was. And the difference, again, four points. Well, the Bears, a little bit uncertain. Uh, kick it. McPherson. Out to Rover with us, who kicked two goals in the first quarter. Richardson, who's run all over the ground today, and uh, I've seen him play better, but let's say he's performed reasonably well today. He certainly moved it around. Across to Campbell, another two goal kicker. Beasy to attack. They're trailing by four points. Free kick against the Bears. Interference across the shoulder. Thomas to take it. And balls off quickly. Pass. And a good mark taken by Conlon under heaps of pressure. Laurie's chip pass. The ball goes back to the middle. Here's McIver. Will a handball come out? He's delivered about 18 of them this afternoon. Kicks instead, and that's why. Armstrong. Waste no time. There's three roos out here on their own. Richard Osborne. There's another one of them. Barwick. He's tried to swing it around to him. Doug Barwick. Good mark. It was a good mark because he didn't look as though he was in position. Superb judgment from Barwick. Kept his eyes on it. I don't know how. Well, he's kicked four behinds. If ever they wanted a goal, it's right now, Leroy's. That's why he's taking so much time. And it's paid off. Doug Bowick has put Fitzroy nine points up. And the mark deserves a goal. Watching Scott McIver's kick through. A nice pass to Armstrong. But they had four to one. They just raffled. Osmond chipped it over to Bowick, even though he was under pressure at the last minute. Strong hands and a good kick. The Bears in bottom now because the Lions lead by ten points. Hind puts the Bears forward with a tap. Running players everywhere. With us, the Rover has a quick look into the 50 metre line. Kicks an open goal. Can Judge, can he get there? It's bounced backwards. This will be a marvellous kick. Oh, what a shot! He looked as though he had all the time in the world there, Judge. Uh, he just made it look so easy, but a, a good attempt. It's only a behind. So it's the Lions by nine points. 21 minutes into this final quarter. Word, it's dangerous, but it comes off. Keith Thomas. 
Slowing things it's down. Interesting. Every time Fitzroy kick off, they've got a short pass to kick to, but the Bears have had to kick long all the time because they've had no targets. Loken off to the running cap lay. Driving kick. Oh, and a good mark taken there by a diving. McPherson it is. Rod McPherson. Now Richardson. Straight down the middle, going for Reynoldson. Good mark. Brad Hardy unable to do anything about it. A watcher. Ninth mark for Steve Reynoldson. Oh, kick falls short to Williams. <laughs> They'll say it was deliberate, Steve Reynoldson. This team get a chance now to get within three points. Mark Williams has had 22 possessions. One of them's ended in a goal. The Brisbane vice captain. Keeps his team in the hunt with his second goal. Twenty-three minute mark of the final term. Three points separate the sides. Yes, the Brisbane Bears uh, will be desperate for a win. They've had few and far between uh, in Melbourne this year. Not for many weeks. The Bears three points behind. They got to within three points halfway through this final quarter. And can they uh, they go on and win it now? They need a goal. But the Lions have other ideas. They kick it out. It's marked there by uh, Carafa in his first game. This young 20-year-old played with a lot of polish. Hurt moving well. And how's that for polish? Beautiful polish. And that was shining, in fact. <laughs> and he's, but he's lost it. He put it down and dropped it. Withers gets it up towards Reynoldson. Back to Withers. Where's a loose man? Campbell, perhaps. No, it's Hine, rather. I'm sorry. Ted features five with six goals. He's beaten for position by Cameron. Fitzroy's Cameron clears it well up to the centre. A one-on-one -on -one duel here. Oh, Armstrong can't get it. McPherson. Backwards. Brenton Phillips. Walsh. Just before Cutler got him. Darts forward. A long kick to the goals, Gear. Can Fitch take this one? No, he can't. Grabbed there by Cameron, a very timely mark. Approaching the 25-minute mark. The Bears are down three points. Cameron's mark it almost pulled back for uh, the Lions. Gets a 15-minute penalty. Very promising defender. Cameron's played well. Woken calling for it is Mick Conlon. The crowd wants something from Michael. He's going to run it right in. 50 metres out. For behind. You heard the crowd rise when Conlon got it. They wanted him to charge it right up there. He tried to oblige them. And the Bears still need a goal. That's the thing. Or a long kick into play. Ruse, but uh, Nicken in front. Interference. I don't know why Bruce was behind Nicken. Someone held him. He gets a chip shot quickly out towards Thomas. Thomas, another chip to the pocket. Finds Osborne. They rely so much on Osborne. Richard Osborne, but he... He was sensational a short time ago and he ran on an arc and, and found Ruse. And Ruse kicked the goal. This is his 18th kick. Osmond's kicked one goal. That was in the first quarter. He tries. You can see it was a poor attempt. It's only behind. So they lead by five points. The Lions at the 25 minute mark in this final quarter. 1 4 for Richard Osmond. Bit of praying coming from the Fitzroy throng. Big Rendell battling with Williams. Desperation from McPherson. We're into time on. Five points the difference. It's Fitzroy who lead. Only been headed once today. Rendell in slow motion. Campbell. Kick has been touched, so it's play on. Richardson on the interchange area, keeps it in play. Withers, fine pickup. Oh, poor kick though. Ricocheted off Laurie, off to Thomas. Ruse is the man they want. He flew high, but uh, too hard back. Osborne. Carafa, he can win it, the kid. Touched right on the line. Brilliant from Gibson. He wanted. Two centimetres more, Carafa. Yes, very exciting finish. Certainly, um, 
Paul Roos was unlucky, uh, was lucky not to be a free kick there a minute ago because that's the way it goes. Play on in a tight game. Yes, the Lions lead by a goal. So if the Bears kick the goal, it's drawn. It's going to be interesting. It's Paul Roos. A wonderful game, a glorious pass down to Stevens. And this fellow, if he kicks a goal, I'm sure it's all over. <laughs> in the deserted uh, terraces. The Prince is able. Look at Stevens thinking, oh, I've got to kick this, I've got to kick this. Got to kick into a breeze as well. It doesn't make the distance, it wobbles through, doesn't get through. It's pushed through for, by the Bears Phillips, and it means the Lions lead by seven points. So they have to get it moving and quickly. Cameron O'Brien. Come on, get it going. Play 28 minutes. Reynoldson tries to knock on. Pert up from the back line. He's held it, he didn't have it. Thomas inside 50. The sealer. Keith Thomas, who would appear has put it beyond doubt now. 13 point leaders are Fitzroy. Almost certainly, certainly, the Fitzroy players uh, know, they're in, know they've been in trouble. I think the look on their face, they realise now they might be let off the hook because uh, a very gallant fight back by Brisbane. Tap on by, uh, by Mecham. And then Gibson. Up to Mike Richards, he's March. Going to be very interesting. 13 points behind, it really means that the Bears need three goals to win it. Strong Mark Cameron, a beauty. On the perp, hacks his way past the opponents, finds Pekin, Pekin dribbles it out in front of him. Well, they've come out of it well, down to the wing position, there's all lines there, and there's an equal number, in fact. Common. The a handball! <laughs> Off to Roos. Into the pocket. Stevens battling with O'Brien off to Carafa from the boundary line 40 meters out He's put it out in the fall <laughs> yeah, Youngster in his first match. There's uh, Fitzroy players everywhere calling for it but, uh... <laughs> And it's been put out by Phillips A crowd of 5,824 here. They've got their money's worth Darwick, the pass towards Stevens, spoiled by O'Brien, and we've played 31 minutes, well, according to the clock on the scoreboard, but there actually is a bit longer gap than that. It didn't start for a good 15 minutes, the scoreboard clock, so uh, there's a bit more time than the players realise. Probably an eight-goal quarter, four each in this uh, turn. There is a good breakaway. Campbell. That's Campbell, and he's, he's kicked a couple of goals as well. Up to Ken Judge. Oh. Reynoldson stubbed his target, misses it, and Pert whips off the handball to Kavner. Another beautifully placed kick to Colin. Glorious. Colin plays off. <laughs> Down to Osman. Clever play, Osman. Foxes his own tap on. He might kick the goal here. Great play, Osman. Two goals, that certainly is best, and I think that this fellow has helped Fitzroy in their darkest hour. When they were struggling, he got the difficult and the hard ball, and that is great stuff. Eight possessions this quarter, and look at it slip through. There's just a lot of relief was showing on the uh, Fitzroy players, so I'm sure that uh, the way the game, missing all the easy shots to come in with a loss in this game, they would they would have been frightened in the face, David Parkham. Gibson knocks it to Williams, he gets it across to Bernie Harris. Trainers have to scurry. Fitch gets a shocking bounce. Cameron gets support from Thornton. Pekin. Oh, under pressure, Laurie. Gets it away, though, and he's got support. Thomas's handball to McIver. Pass a beauty to Rue. No, it's Rendell. The skipper. Might just about have a go for them. He's kicked two goals, three. 
one of the offenders in front of the sticks. This is probably his hardest shot. Oh, he's almost kicked at the man on the mark. Just spilt by Collins, throws it back towards Rendell. They gain nothing out of that little exchange. Ruse! Big chest mark. And how many marks has he taken today? 16. None better than this one. <laughs> After the siren, Paul Ruse kicks his fourth goal, and in the end, <laughs> Fitzroy have run out quite comfortable winners, but I can assure you it was anything but comfortable. They won by 25 points, and they've kicked 29 behinds for this afternoon. So that's 48 scoring shots to uh, 26.